Welcome to Universal Orlando Resort for a good chunk of the film Sharknado 3 was filmed. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today here at Universal Orlando Resort. We're gonna track down all the filming locations that were shot here on property for the most part. A Sharknado 3. Oh, hell no. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the world of Micah. Today, we're going to be finding the filming locations here at Universal Orlando for Sci Fi Channel's Sharknado 3. Oh, hell no. Sharknado 3 was released on July 22nd, 2015 on the Sci Fi Channel. It's a part of the Sharknado films that they have released. They've made several of those Sharknado films, but the third one was filmed for the most part here at Universal Orlando Resort. Had an excellent cast and a ton of cameos. The cast included Ian Ziering, Tara Reid, Bo Derek, and the Hoff. That's right, David Hasselhoff. If you're new here, click that subscribe button. It'll keep you updated with my latest video. And if you would like to support my channel, down below in the description box is a link. It'll take you to my Patreon page. Let's head inside Universal Studios and see what all we can find from the filming locations of Sharknado 3. Now. Let's take a closer look. Right here you can see April, May, and Claudia walking towards the entrance to Universal Studios Resort. To this day, this area has not changed one bit. And here's the globe, the famous Universal Studios globe. Right in between the V and the E there is where Nova and Finn were trapped. They were trapped inside the Universal globe. It's kind of funny. I wonder if they actually put them right here and, and shot that. Straight ahead is the tower, the entrance to Islands of Adventure in the film. The globe was placed on top of that for a scene you can see in the photo. It was a dark, cloudy day. Sharks were falling out of the sky, a big Sharknado, and the Universal Globe was on top of that. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think this globe sitting on top of that would look like it did. Maybe it would. Not 100%. I'd have to see how tall this is, you know, off the ground, and exactly how tall that is, because from the distance, it doesn't seem like it's that, that large, but when you get up to it, it, it's pretty large. Maybe they did their research, and maybe they did fit it on top digitally, the way it would actually look. Now, for some reason in the film, they decided to use the exit as the park entrance. I'm not 100% sure why. I'm thinking because you could see this behind the actors as they were walking in to get their tickets to go inside the park. The next two shots were filmed right over here at the exit of Universal Studios Florida. But that exit right there where Bill Davis was making a cameo. Bill Davis is the president and COO of Universal. He was making a cameo as a team member, taking the ticket and letting Claudia into Universal Studios. In reality, it's the exit. That's not where you would walk in at all. And straight ahead is where Claudia, April, and May were all three walking towards the exit. But in their world, that was the entrance. Claudia was about to have a fun-filled day here at Universal. And like I said, the reason I think they shot this here is because you can see the Universal Globe in the background of the actors. Right here was used as the entrance that April and May were walking through heading towards the Orlando Women's Health Center. In actuality, this is just another entrance that Universal uses for guests to come in. Sometimes during the busier seasons, Halloween Horror Nights, etc., they'll use this location and they would have walked right along here and headed to what, in the film, was used as the Orlando Health Center for women, right here. In actuality, that's the lockers and first aid and everything right there. And then to the right of this building is the guest service and the VIP experience inside the studio. But right here is where it matches up. You can see above the doors it said Orlando Women's Health Center. The plants are kind of the same. They've been changed a little bit. The door is still the same and whatnot, but this is this is it. This is where April and May, portrayed by Tara Reed and Bo Derek, were walking in to the health center. Oh, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. A lot of scenes 
took place at this coaster. It was a cameo with Chris Jericho and Kim Richards. Kim Richards had a little scene with Claudia. And that scene was filmed right over here in this area. You can see Kim talking to Claudia there. Pretty cool. A lot of scenes took place at this coaster. I think Universal really wanted to show it off. Plus, has some cool scenes with some sharks in this area as well. Right around here is where Billy, Jess, Chad, and Claudia were all standing and talking. You can see Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket in the background and the New York Public Library. This is where that exchange happened. Right here in this area, I'm telling you, they wanted to show Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket a lot. I mean, they did just get off Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket, but that, that coaster has shown quite a bit in the film. So a few things have changed for this scene. That tree is in the shot and the pole to the right in the shot. Now to the left of us, the jumbo pizza slice and the pizza cinnamon churros stand was a popcorn stand at the time, but there was a bench right here and Nova would have been standing here and Finn would have been right here, would have been taking off to go and kick some shark butt. That tree right here was removed because you can see the buildings in the background. But this is it right here because that electrical box can be seen next to Nova. It's kind of it's kind of crazy and I think they changed the painting on this. I think they they made a different color to blend in. But this was where this shot was was filmed. So there was a big protest happening right over here. This was supposed to be still Washington DC. Finn hops out of the car. He just had a meeting with everyone in Washington DC on what was going on. A briefing, I guess you could say, on what was going on. And he was he was stuck in the middle of a protest and knew he had to get out. So he hops out the top of the car in the sunroof. And this is where that scene was shot right here in reality this is still the new york area next to louis bar and grill a great place for pizza here at universal studios florida now the next scene takes place over by bruce the shark which is kind of funny and ironic to me but it's also one of the best cameos ever so jerry springer would have been walking right through here he just wanted to get a photo really quick even though all the mayhem was happening he wanted to get a photo with this shark not the sharks that were falling out of the sky from the shark nato jerry springer would have been standing right here bruce the shark comes to life and devours mr jerry springer in one of the most epic cameos of all time i love it the only thing that would have made it better is if the cast and crew would have been yelling jerry jerry during filming who said they didn't who knows one of my favorite scenes was right here in front of the pandages horror makeup show on the marquee there it says special screening shark wedding come in costume and you can see right on the ground there was one of the sharks that has fallen from the sky now the funny thing about this location was that on the inside of that they treated it like it was an actual theater and you guys know this was one of the best in my opinion over the top shark kills the old man sitting in the theater watching the movie and then well i'm not gonna spoil it it's a good thing there's not a storm coming today i'd really hate to see a sharknado come through this area once again well that's going to do it for all the shots that were inside universal now we're going to travel over to our next locations which are city walk and universal's cabana bay next location is going to be here inside the lobby of cabana bay so right there is the door of cabana bay where april and may would be walking in you can still see above the door the back side of the glass says lobby just like it does in the film and the pole that was the the entrance they chose to to walk into another shot of april and may right here walking in the lobby of cabana bay she was on the phone everything still looks pretty much the same since they filmed and this was the area where they were enjoying a a drink well may was enjoying a drink april pregnant so she had to drink water but this is the same area where they were sitting in fact if you wanted to come and sit at the sharknado 3 table you could pretty awesome they would have been sitting right here and straight ahead is the pool 
where the shark attack happened. That was the pool that was used for the shark attack at Cabana Bay. A lot of action happened up here on this area right in front of the main lobby. But I think that's gonna do it for Cabana Bay. Every time I stay in this resort, I always think of Sharknado 3. <laughs> Next shot's gonna be over here at the City Walk Hot Dog Hall of Fame. They were broadcasting the Today Show right there, and the headline was saying, entire East Coast in danger. I think they just wanted to promote Hot Dog Hall of Fame in the film. A lot of promoting was in this film. A lot of great cameos, but they definitely promoted the park. And why not? And now we are heading to our last and final location of the day for Sharknado 3 filming locations. This was a lot of fun. Right here is where the shot was. They had placed May right about here. Finn was right here. You can see this recycling trash can here. The EMT is standing right about here. And April was standing right there. They were checking May out. She was in a wheelchair right here. This is the upper level of City Walk, right next to the sushi. This place, Moe's, and the Burger King Whopper Bar. So if you wanna go and stand exactly where they were all standing, checking May out, this is it. The trash can is still here, which kind of blows my mind. You can see all this in the background, in the shot. Well, you guys, we did it. We found all the filming locations that I wanted to find for Sharknado 3 here at Universal Orlando Resort. And I think it's time to say goodbye, but if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up. The thumbs up button's down here. All my links are down below. I'll see you guys tomorrow on a brand new episode of World of Micah. Until then, stay weird and watch out for sharks. Goodbye. <laughs>